All right, so now that we've uh, got a pretty good poly paint going on, um, the next step is to just try to add a little bit more realism to the creature or character, and you can do that very easily with a tool called Spotlight. So what we're going to want to do is come up here to Texture, and uh, I'm just going to dock this, and we're going to import a texture here. Let's go navigate to it. I'm um, going to use a crab shell texture since this is like a very crustacean sea looking kind of creature. So we're going to click down on the one texture that we want to use and we're going to click this button right here, add to spotlight. It pops up in the spotlight and you can see um, there's this tool here where we can manipulate our image. Um, you'll notice that if you click down around on the image you can move the the gizmo wherever you're clicking. If you want to move the actual image itself around, you have to click and drag inside the gizmo. So there's a variety of tools in here to play with, um, but this one right here, the scale is real helpful. So let's just scale this down for a little bit. Um, the, uh, the hot keys for this are Shift Z to turn it off and you can see that's already uh, over here as well. So if you just want to do it quickly, just shift Z. And then Z controls turning on and off the gizmo. So when the gizmo is on, you can alter your image. When the gizmo is off, you can paint. So you can see now I have access to the, um, the regular viewport controls. So I'm just going to, um, let's turn off spotlight for a second and I want to zoom in on the head because that's what I'm going to work on let's alt click the head and solo it so it's the only thing that we're seeing and then let's hit shift Z again to bring spotlight back up and Z to bring up our controls and then let's just let's lower the opacity a bit so I can kind of see what's going on and I want to scale this so it just bigger than the entire head and I'm trying to just center it so that the middle of my mesh kinda of has the middle of the these crab shell textures and details and I think that looks pretty good right about there so when, once we're ready we're happy with the positioning we're gonna click Z again so that we can paint and I'm gonna leave Z add on but I'm gonna leave it really low I'm gonna give it like a 6 an intensity of a 6 and I'm also going to turn on RGB because we want to paint this color it ba basically projects what you're painting right through the image and casts it onto your model so I'm just gonna change this to maybe like a 60 because I don't wanna completely cover up what we did before Let's turn this down even a little bit more to like a five. Okay, and then let's just start painting. So you can see, you can kind of see what's happening through the image a little bit. You can see um, it's getting a little bit brighter. That's signaling that it's painting on the mesh. So if I hit the, the Shift Z to turn it off, you can kind of see what's going on there. And I'm just going to very lightly paint in the rest of it because I kind of want to have some of our uh, purple still showing through. I kind of like that. I like the, the mixture of the purple and the orange here. I think it's a cool mix. And I'm just turning it on and off so I can see what I'm doing. So I can kind of see how the result's looking. That's looking pretty cool. I'm just doing like little circular figures here. And the reason I didn't turn on symmetry is because I kind of think it looks a little bit more realistic to actually 
because this crab shell is pretty symmetrical, but it's slightly different. You can see the, the spots and stuff aren't like exactly the same, so I didn't want to make it exactly symmetrical. I kind of wanted to leave that little bit of uh, variation. And this is looking pretty cool. So you can keep kind of just messing with it a bit until you feel like it's like really looking how you want it to. The harder you press down, so like if I press like really hard, you can see it does a very bright version of it. And I don't quite want to get that bright. And maybe get a little bit brighter in certain areas like these. But overall, just kind of trying to keep it a soft blend with what we already did before. That looks pretty cool, if you ask me. So what a cool cool way to add like some real life actual detail to your model. So I'm gonna unsolo this and I'm gonna click on the back portion of him. Um, I'm gonna just bring this down a bit and hit Shift Z again. Uh, hit Z again so I can kind of adjust the image one more time and Z again so now I can start painting. I'm just going to do the same thing here on this one. Oh, accidentally hit uh, Control Z, undo. So yeah, just same, same idea here. Let's just paint this in so that this is kind of matching what we did. Yeah, I have my symmetry turned on for this one. It is uh, making it go a little bit quicker, but as you can see, things are a little bit more symmetrical. This piece, I don't think it really matters so much because this piece is going to be behind, and uh, so I'm not going to redo this or anything. But I think that's looking pretty cool. So I'm going to paint a little bit more right here. Let's... Uh, Let's zoom out and take a look at what we've done. I think that looks really, really cool. So now the other thing to keep in mind, we can probably close this now. So we get a bigger viewport. The other thing to keep in mind is that when you do this, we do start to lose some of that masking that we did that was really cool. So. Let's just go in here and uh, let's do, actually real quick, I do want to show you, let's bring up uh, Spotlight again and um, one, one cool thing is just changing the orientation of the image. So uh, let's scale this down a bit, I'm going to solo the, the head and I want to get like some of these spots going around. Let's. Uh, lower our opacity a little bit. I want to get some of these cool white spots going around here. So let's change the rotation of the image so that it kind of works with the eye, uh, the eyebrow like cresty looking things here. Let's scale this up a bit and just place it so we're getting some of those spots going in the same direction. I think that that will add a, a cool little um, bit of you know texture to the to the front of the face so hit Z to start painting and let's just and actually at this point 
I am going to turn off Z add because I don't really want to affect what I did here at all with any pump. I think it looks good enough. So let's just shift Z to turn that back on. And let's see how this is looking. Oh, you know what? I wasn't clicked on the head. That's why it's not working. So I'll just alt click on the, the head tool again. Now I can see it showing through. One thing is I did not have symmetry turned on. So for this, uh, this I think it would be easier to have your symmetry turned on so that you don't have to orient the image twice. So let's do that again. And we're definitely getting some cool textures here. So let's unsolo again. Let's get do a little zoom out. And yeah, I mean, I you know, you go go through your whole image and do these kind of thing. Your your entire character and creature and do these kind of things where you're adding this this bit of realism to it and it's really going to start to come to life the the only thing to keep in mind is that when you're doing this you are kind of painting over what you did before so like we're losing a little bit of the masking so I'm, I would come back in here and just do another mask by cavity again let's do that mask and let's um let's just uh, mask adjust I already have it set to a 10 let's click apply on that and invert it so that we can paint in some of these crevices again let's turn off view mask we're gonna have to select our colors again but they were something like a dark pinkish color and a dark purple color and then we're just gonna want to turn on our alpha and our uh, stroke and now we can paint in some of those dark areas that we had before that we lost a little bit with this new texture that we added. So between using your masking and your uh, spotlight tool you should be able to make some really cool um, really cool textures and image imagery here to add to your characters or creatures. So that's spotlight, and uh, yeah, I think uh, I think I like really like the way that's looking. Let's uh, give it one more look just from a distance. Could probably add a little bit more here where it's per a little too purple still. I think I could probably kind of cover some of that purple with the orange. But yeah, I mean I'm I'm really really happy with the way that's looking. So. Uh, I'm going to now go through and do the rest of the character, and then uh, the next step will be uh, using the transpose tool to um, put it in a bit of a unique pose.